Bro, don't look at me while I'm drinking, bro. Come on. What's good? What's good, y'all? We currently 12.27 p.m. As you can see, you feel me? It's a little early, a little late. We got a lot of shit to do. We got a lot of shit to talk about. Got a lot of updates for y'all as well. Uh, should I wear these glasses throughout the video, bro? As you can see, it's like glitter. I don't know if y'all can see my eyes or not. But obviously, before we get into all that, the bulk has finally arrived uh only thing about it is though we only got one box so you know that shit suck but i'm fucking with y'all uh let me go get the other boxes so we got one two three four uh, five uh finally fucking ah uh, six finally after about two to three fucking months of waiting but yeah i'm gonna get into the boxes and shit before we do that I gotta catch my breath, bro. I'm dying. Give y'all some updates and chop it up real quick, bro. Don't worry. I'm not gonna yap y'all head off for my fucking 30 minutes. Uh, shit about the brand, a whole bunch of stuff. So let me set y'all up real quick. One more thing, boys. Look, I got, I got new slugs. You guys like these? I know my breath smells like shit, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm trolling. But I got a uh, white gold open face. Video coming soon on these. Uh, all right, y'all. So one day we're gonna be sitting on like a hundred of these boxes, but. Bulk has arrived. It took two and a half months, two and a half to three months to come in. Now here's the weird thing, right? Look, I bought the bulk five days ago, paid for it. This is a China manual. These motherfuckers got this shit here in five days. So shipping time good, production time is ass. So we're gonna have to work on that. If you don't know what I dropped, I dropped these hoodies right here, you feel me? Buried out, you feel me, sun fake crop. And we got the gemstones, as you can see all over the place so like obviously there's a lot of shit that had to go into the, these hoodies to be made which was the gems the sun fade crop all that shit so it's gonna take some time did not expect two and a half months so i would not be running pre-order ever again hard things are done the least but they provide the most so that's the point of this if you are a customer if you are a supporter of barry Dell, you feel me you did purchase the hoodie i just want to say bro i really appreciate you I'm grateful for you and thank you for the patience. Trust me, I understand it, the frustration and shit because I know me personally, if I waited two and a half months for something I ordered, I'd crash out and I did not scam you. Yo, yo shit coming. Definitely for this first drop, big learning experience. Couple life updates. Got a new camera. All right, we filming on a Canon G7X Mark II right now. This camera is done as though. I'm tired of this camera. It's a lot of shit that I don't like about it. And I know, you feel me, if I really wanna take this somewhere, I have to invest in myself and invest in the quality and the, you feel me, the equipment and shit. So the new camera, I'm gonna be making a video on that. Uh, I'm gonna give you a hint. It's a Sony camera and the setup costs around like 2,500. You feel me, we got some big dog shit on the way. And I think the last thing I wanna tell y'all, the reason why I've been gone for like the past 20 to some days, I haven't posted. I started a challenge called 75 Hard and basically, what you gotta do is work out twice a day, gotta stick to a strict diet, and you gotta like read. I started this challenge, bro, kinda lie. A nigga was getting a little fat, a little chunky and shit, and I don't like that, you know what I'm saying? I've always kinda been like a, a skinny dude, but like, I have a little bit of muscle, but then I got to the point where I was skinny fat, and I don't like that shit. So, and I'm thinking, bro, I'm 19 right now. I don't wanna leave my teens and not be able to say, you feel me, I was shredded and shit, so. That's what I'm doing. I've been cutting. You feel me? The progress is crazy. I'm going to show y'all some. Back to the main point of the video. We finna get into these boxes. Praying that everything fits correctly. All the sizing is good. Quality's good. And they didn't jip me. Because if they do, I'm going to cry. I'm going to crash out. I'm pretty sure everything's good. They sent me videos. So, good chopping it up with y'all. Hope you guys fucking listened. If you didn't, it's all good. Look at, look. Look, I just destroyed this box. Mm. All right, now I'm about to, uh, about to start opening up the boxes. I'm so happy, bro, the load finally in, bro. Like, you don't understand. Waiting this long, I could have been dropping other shit. Process gonna be bumpy every now and then. Gotta get through that shit. Oh, I think they, uh, I don't know. It's got an XL, it's got a medium. I don't know. It's a box of pinks right here. Got some blacks. <sighs> I'm 
keep it a bean, bro. I just took like a cool 30 minute break because lifting all these boxes and shit had me sweating. But did open all the boxes, man. We got three boxes of pink and then three boxes of black. As you can see, you feel me? I didn't do custom frost bags and I didn't get stickers. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I made the hoodie cheaper than it needed to be. Um, we basically damn near almost sold out while I was waiting for the bulk. So I did order like a whole bunch of exercises. So it's gonna be on the site. But the amount of detail that's in the hoodie and shit, $85 free shipping. And if you sign up for SMS, you get 10% off. That's a steal. Literally, all the gyms, like, let me see, I'm gonna show y'all. All the gyms are fucking riveted into the hoodie. These motherfuckers ain't coming off. What's good, brothers? I ain't gonna lie, the camera did die while I was unboxing the shit, so. Everything looks good. They even got it, like, uh, the sizes and shit separated, as you can see. I did film some, like, little content and shit for Instagram, took some pictures. This is a blessing, bro. I used to literally daydream about shit like this in my junior year of high school, senior year of high school watching videos, designing shit on my iPad, bro. And you know what I'm saying? It's a, it might be small to some, it might be a lot to some, but you feel me, this is a blessing. I'm glad to be able to even like, you feel me, see this amount of hoodies and shit laying right here. Like this is my creation, bro. If you got an idea in your brain and all that shit and you wanna make a clothing brand, don't listen to these lame ass niggas saying, clothing brands oversaturated, clothing brand isn't, bro. Do your shit, bro. It don't matter what nobody say, it's about you and you only. Who cares about what everybody else is saying? I'll film a little bit more content for Instagram and shit. I'll show y'all what I posted, but just off me posting the stories and the updates, I got two new orders. I ain't gonna lie, one of these motherfuckers, though, this one right here, was a high-risk order. And this is my first high-risk order. That motherfucker got a red triangle. So if you the one that ordered the high-risk, um, yo shit getting refunded. You not swiping my uh, site, and I seen the address. It's in New York. I know how you New York niggas get. You not swiping me, boy. So this the, uh, this the main feed shit. Just post a little aesthetic picture. Put finally up here on buried out bro look literally in two to three months it's gonna be at 2,000 followers which is crazy i started the brand three months ago it's good family. but you feel me just made a little video and shit everybody showing love got a lot of people got a lot of people showing love and shit just posted some quick updates i got two orders you feel me that's money So I just got done taking some like pictures and some quick little story videos. Before we start packing them, doing a quality check and all that, gotta open up this package that just got here from Amazon, which does contain our poly mailers, our poly bags to ship out the hoodies and shit. So let's open this motherfucker. All right, let's see what we got here. First thing I got is an air duster because I do have a PC if you didn't know. And bro, I have not dusted my shit since I got it. And I got that shit probably about a year ago. Some, yeah, maybe like a year ago. That shit is dusty as hell. It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, so if you got a PC, bro, we'll recommend getting a little air duster. Yeah. The next thing, what the hell is this little piece of shit? Uh, we got a little pro grade. SD card was $90. Um, it's a pro grade 256 gigabyte V60 SD card, which is for the new camera. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. Damn near didn't even need new poly bags. Um, let me show you why. Because if you take a look under here, I didn't, like, I thought I had this stack right here. This is probably about, like, 10, 15. Bro, look at this shit. I have this whole, like, this whole shit right here. That's at least, like, 70. It's a whole bunch of them, so. Off topic, I'm going to show you, like, some of the new packages and shit I got. I'm about to start doing these, like, PO unboxings of clothing brands that send me shit because they'll be sending me some hard shit. Like, look at this. Duck my sick crazy um some new little swag in the mail you feel me my boys at space cadet always getting me right got these little shorts and we got the lens and like this little camera filter thing for the new camera shock aware i don't know if y'all tapped in with shock aware but this is like a good ass blank company like they sent me a pr mail like what the fuck got a little sneak peek this is the new camera we got but y'all gotta keep this a secret don't tell nobody but we got a sony a7 IV, so you know the video is gonna go crazy yeah this a new pickup too got some rig vans so just know a whole bunch of new videos finna come like uh fucking recent pickups all that good shit i think i'm finna just print out the shipping labels because i just want to have them ready to go so when we pack in you feel me it's an easy process go to the pc setup look at the wiring the wiring fucking cooked but hey you gotta work with the space you got you feel me so 
All right, y'all boys, uh, let me take these off because the glare finna be crazy, but I did just boot up the PC. Show y'all some of the orders. This is the first page of orders, you feel me? We got a good amount. These red triangle motherfuckers, these are the ones you gotta cancel, bro. These yellow ones is like a, it's just a system flagging, but I did see like a few of my friends and shit when they ordered, uh, it had a yellow, ah, it had a yellow triangle, so I don't cancel those. They instantly let you do it, so we going, huh? Uh, fraudulent order. Yeah, cancel this bitch. Another thing I gotta do, I had like a few family members, some of my friends and shit locally, and some other people locally, they did buy um, a hoodie. So shout out to any of y'all, you feel me? Shout out to all my locals that cop. Really appreciate y'all uh, for supporting me. Finna go in my notes app and then write down all the names and everybody's order that needs to get dropped off that I can hand to that's local. So I don't waste money on shipping labels because if you know, them shipping labels get OD, and I ain't trying to spend all my money on shipping labels, so. So, yeah, see y'all in a minute. One more thing, I just got another order. I don't know if this shit gonna focus, but just got another order, bro. I haven't even been, like, promoting the hoodies or nothing, because I've been trying to wait for bulk, because I didn't want people to be like, uh, you feel me, you steadily posting, but, like, where my shit at? I got, like, two to three orders today. Two, because that fuckboy tried to uh, scam me, but. Good boys, it is indeed the next day. I know like yesterday it got like a little late and I had to go to the gym and shit. So we finna finish most of the rest of the stuff we gotta do today. I just whipped up these little thank you cards right here. Thank you for supporting Barry Doubt. Your purchase is more than just clothing. It's a reminder to embrace confidence and leave doubt behind. Oh, come on, come on, that's a bar, bro. That's real shit too. But it's a little uh thank you card, you feel me? Got a little discount code, got uh the character right here. Look, gotta be innovative. You feel me? So I just literally made this on my iPad. It took fucking three minutes. And then now, as you can see, we got a thermal label printer. And then I got a whole bunch of labels right here. They're like the size of a thank you card. I created that design for free. I don't got to pay my fucking $100 for a bulk order of thank you cards. Well, let me drag this over here. Oh, shit. But let me drag this right here. Boom, ski. You know what I'm saying? Got it right. Got it in the right format. Four by six. We go to print. I'm gonna change this into portrait and then it says copies. We're gonna do about 65. That's a fuck ton. I hope I have enough labels in there, but I'm pretty sure I do. In print. Now, as you can see, it's finna go crazy. The uh, shipping label is next. Yeah, as you can see. Ah, oh, what? See, like, what the fuck? That's some bullshit. These shipping labels is about to fuck me. Nigga, wow. It's about to be expensive. I'm expecting to spend at least 500 on shipping labels. There's a lot of orders where people order both colors or they order like different sizes and shit. Those packages caught are about five pounds. So that shit gonna be like 12 for each label. So, all right, boy. So I did get done printing out all these little stickers. Like, look, bro, shit just looks cool as hell. I finna just slip this in each package. I just cracked one of these. This motherfucker right here, this rain energy. Another thing that I did get sorted out, you know what I'm saying? It's always good to be organized, bro. You don't want to be sloppy because then that's how you fuck people's orders up and all that type of shit. My local orders uh, ready to go. So it's about 19 hoodies locally. Shout out to all y'all. Love y'all. About to go through this. Uh, once I have each selected and I'm about to pay, I'll show y'all the money and shit. Shipping not as bad as I thought. You feel me? It's way cheaper than I thought. So that's always a blessing. The first 40 uh, labels ready to go. These are all the people that order one hoodie. This is the price of the first batch, bro. Like, fuck. 335, 335, 70. I don't even know. Ah, fuck. I gotta add my fucking bank account. Are you, are you, fuck, are you fucking kidding me? Ah, all right, bro. Hold on. I gotta fucking fix all this bullshit. I'll get back to y'all when everything's ready to fucking go. All right, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little pissed, bro. Cause I just had to do a whole bunch of extra ass shit for no reason. But as you can see, my got 42 labels it was 351.99 so we finna print these motherfuckers bro i just had to do so much extra shit like shit just pissed me off shit stacking up on the floor bro just got done printing out the labels you feel me got a little stack you know what i'm saying but this is a start to something that's gonna be great one day shout out to all my internationals i don't know if y'all watching this but from here on out you motherfuckers are getting taxed on shipping. Sorry, but uh, I was very generous with how much I charged for fucking international shipping. I charged $25. The label for the people that bought one hoodie internationally was like $35. Purchased motherfucking two hoodies, and that shit was 50 something. Now I was like $65. So, uh, love y'all.
but you guys are getting fucking taxed on the next drop. I figured out how to print out the packing slips for the orders, you feel me, to organize it and shit. So that's what I'm about to print out right now. Good day, boys. Finna start packing. Uh, as you can see by this pile right here, I, last night I did end up sorting all the sizes and shit. So it could just be easier today. But as you can see by these big fat ass boxes right here, I need to cut them because, uh, yeah, I need the space to be nice and clean. So that's what I'm about to do. Let's see. Cheers. One. Just got done cleaning up the whole area, no more boxes, and then let me show y'all how organized this shit get. Just like my little packing station, uh, come over here, I got everything written down, you feel me, by size and color and shit like that. Then we got the two uh, colored poly bags I'm finna use, and then I moved everything, so I like, look. All this is large, that's all small, I believe both these rows is mediums, and then you fucking get it. And then obviously I had to put the Barry Dow swag on, you feel me, put the pink hoodie on to start packing but what i'm finna do is go through the label see how many like hoodies i need in each section so for example if i need three small pinks i'm about to quality check them and then after i quality check them i could just pack them up without even worrying about it and yeah and then we got exercises on the site too go shop i'm gonna ship your shit in one day you're not gonna have to wait too much welcome back blake Hey, yo, KJ, man, that shit is huge. All right, boys, I just got done quality checking most of the pinks and, like, the quantity that I needed for each size. But let me show you why it's important to quality check the pieces, because obviously... I don't want to send it to my customers, my supporters, anything that's flawed, damaged, you feel me? Because we setting a standard of high quality. Go down to the hoodie, you feel me? The fabric is fine. Everything's good. It's just the gems, you know what I'm saying? So look, all the gems are in here, but it's hardware, so shit could happen. Look, you wouldn't even notice it if I didn't point it out. But like right here, you feel me? Uh, one of the gems probably got messed up in production. And you feel me? It caused it to not have the top part. So far, I probably checked about like 20 hoodies, and it's only been about two to three of the pinks that's fucked up now don't get it twisted my manufacturer will compensate for this for the next bolt then they're gonna they you feel me we're gonna get right but yeah it's small stuff like that that i'm looking out for i'm gonna do the rest of these and then after i'm done with that literally it's gonna be a smooth breeze of just putting the shit in the bags and pack <laughs> Another new day. Uh, it's basically a fucking week in the life at this point. He's got some Naruto up here. You feel me playing in the background? This packing shit feel amazing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really appreciate everybody who supported it. You feel me? Show love and shit. I don't have a cameraman, bro. And if I don't have one today, I'm just gonna have to go on that bitch with my tripod, set it up. Yeah, I don't want to do that because people gonna be in the business and shit. It is what it is because I got to get this out and I want to show y'all. But shout out, uh, shout out to my boy Ishmael. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but my boy Ishmael, he bought both colorways. You'll you go, man. Appreciate you. If any of y'all watch anime, do y'all watch it with subtitles or you watch English? When I used to, like, I ain't going to cap, bro. I don't even really be watching anime no more, but I used to be a heavy ass anime watcher. When I used to, I'd only watch sub, bro, because, like, Naruto, for example, in English, he sounds like a dweeb. He's corny and shit. Japanese, that shit just sounds. I don't know. It just, it just sounds so cool. I want to go to Japan, bro. That's like a, that's somewhere on my bucket list. But the shopping experience is hella good. I was growing up and shit, bro. Nintendo played a big role in my life. Like, I had the PS3s and PS2s and shit, but Nintendo, that was my shit. Like, I always had a DS, a Game Boy. I like, like, Nintendo games way more than, like, PlayStation games and shit. Another one to the pile. 
I got another order today, bro. So that's good. This is how the drop went. And this is why, like, I know I could do a lot better. So I announced, I announced the drop. I promoted for two weeks. Now, within those two weeks, I was not prepared. I procrastinated OD. I was supposed to post three videos a day, but I had no content ready. Like, I was procrastinating. I thought it would be smart to fucking start filming and shit as, like, I announced the drop, which is not smart. I mean, some days I only po I posted three videos, and the next day I might have not posted shit, and then a day I might have posted one video. And then on top of that, after I dropped, drop day did smooth, you feel me, did cool. And then obviously I wanted to promote more after the drop to like sell out what I had. I was posting maybe once a day on like TikTok and Reels. That was only for like a week or two after the drop. Went completely MIA with the content. I was still keeping up with my customers. Like if they were asking me questions and shit, but I stopped, like I stopped posting and stopped promoting. Obviously that hindered sales, but as time was going on, I guess like my older videos, they start picking up and I was gradually getting sales, which is how I have hella orders. So basically what I'm trying to say, bro, I only promoted for maybe three weeks and I, I got over 60, 70 orders, which is fucking crazy. So definitely know, I definitely know next drop, if I'm more prepared, got content ready, we gonna go crazy. And shit gonna be pre-made too. No more pre-orders. Like y'all gonna get y'all, y'all gonna get y'all shit shipped out the next day. So definitely, definitely uh a lot of a lot of improvements to make, but that's natural. You feel me? Not gonna be not gonna be a master the first try. All right, before I go drop off the uh, USPS, like in the Poly Miller shit, I'm finna go drop off all my uh, local customers, their orders, you feel me? Y'all gonna see some of them, probably my friends. And then the other ones, I'ma just drop off. Well, I'm finna listen to my music, and I'ma catch y'all at my boy Sean house, cause he's gonna be the first person I drop off, so. Bro. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Always doing this shit. I just told you I'm gonna be right back. Like, damn, I'm just trying to listen to music. Real shit, you was just staring at me. I don't even know. See you in a little bit, bro. Shit, tripping, bro. We have reached the first destination. Wait, my shit a little patchy though. Hold on. Uh, my boy Shiny Ball. Got your order, buddy. Bro, let's go. There you go. Finally, bro. After three months. Oh. Bro. How have you been, bro? I've been having my hoodie. Oh my god. Wait, like, hold on, y'all. Damn. Bro, wait, do I have permission to wear this hoodie tomorrow? Nigga, yes. Every, I'm finna go, I gotta go wear some other people's shit. So, got my Mickey, or this nigga Mickey hat on. It's actually thick as fuck, too. See? It's good quality shit over here, alright, buddy? Outside my menu. I don't know, bro. They fucking. It's like a machine where it jams in. Second. Wait, where you at? Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm finna drop your hoodie y'all. Look. <laughs> Say what's up to the vlog. Wait, where you at? I'm at Sean's house. Oh, shit. Bro, you've been waiting a long time. Bro, I've been waiting five fucking years. <laughs> five fucking years. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll uh, see y'all at that nigga house. Dude. Nigga just came outside listening to country music, bro. Got to. Oh, After shit. After a minute, get the old hoodie. Throw that bitch. Made a little art and shit for all my drop off. Fuck with this. Oh shit. Spiff it nice too. To wear this with a beanie? Too. Good hood too. Fat to wear that hood. with a beanie right there? Look, show him the wrist. Show him the wrist. Feel me? Yeah, bust downs on the wrist too. Come on. Came with a Cartier. Come on. Damn. Damn. Cartier. It look nice. Do I like, fuck with it, bro? My bad for the fucking. My bad for the fucking two month wait. Doubling up in the BD. Now you double up on the Burry Dope. The Burry Dope. Hell no yeah. glaze camera shit. Fuck with them. Nah, no glaze. I swear. God, I wouldn't even I capture the camera. Bro. I'm glad you fucking like them. But they fit just right, bro. Another satisfied customer, bro. That's why I love Cop it. Here. No cap. We got a few left, maybe, by the time y'all see this home. Sold out. Wait till yeah, the next drop. It might be, but catch y'all uh, later. I'm at the gym. I just got done, my nigga. Oh. He's a living in fourth place, nigga. For sure. He's a uh, he's a third person third to get person. his hoodie. How you feel after three years, bro, of waiting? Yeah. I'm now a real estate investor. I got two kids. And he's I got certified a BD. He's in real unboxing. For real. For sure. Show him. No fake shit. Hey, fresh out the pack. What you think, bro? Oh shit. Hey, look. I don't know if y'all can see oh, on the camera. Oh, he's crazy on this, nigga. I don't know if you can see on the camera. I'll tell you what it is. 
Appreciate you, Best brother. Best video right now, brother. Appreciate you for supporting. You feel me? Hey, support your partners, bro. Yeah. You feel you me? Support your partners, nigga. Real That's niggas. not your partner. All my partners that cop some, y'all finna get y'all shit too. Buried out. Buried out. Yo, shit on the way. Over, uh, I don't know what clip finna be after this shit, but uh, yeah. See y'all later. Alright y'all, now it is time to do the main task of the video and ship out the big load. I probably said this a million times in this video. I'm probably gonna say it again. I really appreciate everybody who supported it anyway or supports me anyway. Uh, means a lot to me, bro, because literally, like two years ago in school and shit, bro, I literally would dream of fucking packing orders. I was watching people ship their orders. I was designing shit in class on my little iPad making shitty ass designs. And then like now, you feel me, I'm living in that and I'm blessed to even receive this amount of orders my first drop, bro. So I really do appreciate y'all. This is something I do want to do. You feel me? This is a dream I want to live, and y'all making it possible. So I do appreciate y'all, man. About to ship out the load. Uh, and yeah. About to put the orders in this little army backpack. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This shit do not look like it's finna fit all these, bro. I thought it was finna be way bigger. Mm -mm -mm. I'm cooked, bro. I definitely thought this shit would have fit way more packages. It's literally only fit about 10%. The first little batch ready to go. Um, I might try to slam like two more in here. I don't know. Definitely gonna need like one more thing to put the rest of this shit. bad y'all for this freak ass outro i know i don't have a shirt on but uh it's okay we're family all right it's all good about two days after i dropped off all the orders and shit and breakfast right now got my energy drink you feel me we cracked up for the day but uh yeah y'all dropped all the packages off everything is shipped a few people did already get their orders you feel me they've been posting on the story you're watching the video and you did uh purchase a hoodie make sure that you tag us on your story or if you post uh you feel me we're gonna add you to the members uh, you feel me, a little highlight and shit like that. You're gonna be featured on the page, all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, I just wanna let y'all know, bruh. I love y'all. Everybody that supports me, you feel me, anyway. You, you watch my YouTube videos, you feel me. You support the Instagram, the TikTok. You supported a brand. You liked one of my pictures, bruh. Support means a lot to me. Um, you feel me? I wanna keep making good content for y'all, you feel me? I know I've been slacking on the videos. But I haven't posted in a month. I know. Barry Dot on top. DCM on top. I love y'all. If you ain't subscribed to the uh, YouTube channel already, subscribe. All right, buddy.